Good evening, bar flies and lounge lizards, and welcome to the Wacky World Book Club. And tonight we're going to be discussing A Feast Unknown by Philip J. Farmer. And A Feast Unknown tells the story of Lord Gronoth, who is actually Tarzan. In this reality, Tarzan was a real person, but his biographer kind of fictionalized his life and, of course, changed his name to protect his privacy. Well, here, Lord Gronoth is being hunted, is being stalked by a Doc Caliban, who is actually Doc Savage, who is a real person in this reality as well, with the same sort of treatment, his life being fictionalized. As to why Doc Caliban is hunting Lord Gronoth, Lord Gronoth doesn't even know, and that's part of the mystery of the story. It actually kind of reminds me a lot of The Predator, just rather than an alien, it's a pulp hero hunting the hero. It's action-packed, really well-written, and that's interesting because I generally don't like action-heavy novels, and I was not really that familiar with Tarzan, I mean, other than a couple of the movies, but reading this, it kept me engaged the entire time, and it actually made me want to go back and check out some of the original Tarzan stuff, and the fact that I really enjoyed an action-packed novel, that's saying a lot. So if you like pulp-type novels, if you like either of those characters, even if you don't, I would recommend this if you like good, fast-paced action. But there is a caveat, and it's a rather big one. Farmer took a very, let's say, interesting directional choice with this one. It is extremely violent, and it is extremely filthy. We'll just say that Lord Gruniff develops a condition where when committing acts of extreme violence, he gets a little excited. So he's just having a good old time all over the place. And there is quite a bit of detail of him having his good times all over the place, if you know what I mean. And with the extreme violence, there's some stuff that actually made me squirm a little bit. And interestingly, Farmer phased this element completely out in the next two books. So if this sounds interesting to you, and you don't mind extreme violence and extreme filthiness, or you think you can just kind of look past it in order to get to the next two books, highly recommend it. Yeah, really entertaining stuff. A great fast read too, even though it's kind of a thick book, I just, I tore through this one. And that's all the time we have for this week. Please like, comment, subscribe, and keep it wacky, but not all over the place.